I'm back with a contest entry video for eating Lucifer Dick, aka Genki Slave. Me and Aid, we knew each other way, way back, like three years ago we started talking and he went off YouTube for a while and he came back and I'm glad he's back. Aid doing videos, showing off his Japanese collection and shit, just like the old times. I'm glad he's back. Um, yeah, this is an entry for his contest. He wants to know our favorite Japanese film, favorite Asian film, it doesn't have to be horror, it could be anything Japanese related. Um, I, the majority of the films I have aren't Asian, I don't have a big Asian collection, a lot of stuff Aid sent me years back and I reviewed all those, so, I don't I don't really have a favorite uh, Japanese film, I just review one, if I like I like it, if I don't I don't, you can check out my videos obviously, find some uh, extreme sick Japanese reviews, so yeah, um, the, yeah, I don't have a favorite Japanese film, the majority of stuff Aid sent me, so there's no point in talking about it since I reviewed, reviewed the fucking movies. But, this one I know is his favorite, and I can see why it's his favorite, and I'm gonna fuck up talking about this film, and he could describe it way more better than I can, because this one was just a lot of, lot of, lot of symbolism, and a, lot, and a lot of gore, a lot of blood, a lot of guts, and a lot of rape in this film, a lot of, a lot of fucking rape, a lot of, a lot of gore, a lot of nudity as well. You know, and this is Eat the Schoolgirl. This fucked me up. A lot of the stuff was just so was just gory. A lot, a lot of the stuff was, a lot of the stuff was just bloody and disgusting. There's a lot of rape in this film. A lot of rape. Um, there's there's a guy dressed up as a schoolgirl killing women. There's a scene where he's fucking a woman in the car, touching her tits, arousing her. You know, trying to turn her on. And then she's she's disturbed by it. She, she's she's scared. She wants enough. She's sick of it. She's sick of being abused and tortured. And then he's just. And then she gets turned on again in the car while he's fucking her. And there's another scene where he slits this one, this one bitch's throat and there's blood all over, gushing over the place and there's blood all over him. And he fucking, and he, what he does is he le leans his foot like this and he just fucking comes on his victims. It's, 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 it's a fucked up film. I'm, it's, I am lost of what to say, but there's a lot of symbolism and a lot of fucking gore, a lot of rape, a lot, a lot of fucking rape. It, it's it's just weird. It's like the first part of the movie is just this guy talking to this 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 guy talking to school schoolgirl I guess and you know she's fucking touching herself touching her pussy f filling herself up and using a marker to, to stick up her cunt. It's just so fucked up, man. It's just fucked up. There's it's hard to describe this. It's just weird. It is just such a mind fuck. Aid could describe this film. More than I could ever. It's it's just fucked up. It's beyond belief fucked up. Um, there's also another scene where um, there's like another woman. I'm gonna mention the rape scene first. There's another girl in the film who gets raped by these cameramen. You see them in the beginning of the film as well, uh, watching the footage of what they did to this one woman. They just one penetrates her in the ass while she's just down getting fucked, and one just you know forces his dick in her mouth. They, they, they fucking just, they fuck, they penetrate her from the ass to the mouth, they fucking, they, they just fucking treat her like shit, they fucking laugh at her, they, they fucking abuse her, you know, they kick her on the stomach, you know, they fucking, you know, just beat the shit out of her, treat her like shit, laugh at her on camera, they, they stick an enema up her ass, and then you see just shit squirting out, which would be throw up. This, I played this movie loud on my, on my TV, this, this, I played this movie at like 40, the sound was like 40, the volume, it was just so loud to turn it down because I thought people were in the fucking house. It was just, and it, was, it would be weird hearing me watch this fucking film and hearing this shit downstairs. But yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's a fucked up film, I, I can't describe it more, it's just a lot of rape and a lot of symbolism. The symbolism with the drawing and the, and you know, and the schoolgirl, she's, she's, by the way, she has a beautiful fucking body, nice ass, fucking fantastic, beautiful woman, she's beautiful. But, yeah, but it's just... The drawing, with the drawing, you know, with the with the dead girl and the blood on the wall, that was symbolism. I don't know if that related to the main character or one of the other two guys in the film. Because I think there was two guys in the film. I don't know, but like, but it was just it was just a weird, fucked up film. I'm just it's just so confusing. There's a lot of a lot of it's a lot of flashbacks. There's like a there's like one scene where one guy, I guess it's um. One of the other two guys with the black or orange hair. I don't know. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm fucking it up. But Aid would know better because he's seen this film. It's one of his favorites. There's a there's one scene where one of the people one of the guys is having a nightmare and he just sees flashbacks of 
of, of, of like, you know, just the girl getting abused and there's blood and, you know, you also see, like, some, like, back scars on the girl's body, on her back. It's just, it's a fucked up film. I can't really describe it. It's just fucked up. There's, but, I mean, from what I got from the first half of the film was this guy seeing this girl and her seeing other people and her fucking guys, basically, and, and just blood and gore and rape. A lot of fucking symbolism, which I don't understand. If, if aid, aid, if you know the official backstory of it, just message me or send me a link, or if you've done it before on one of your blogs, I mean, I think you would describe this film way more better than me. But there's a lot of symbolism to when, um, the, with, the, with the little boy and mother and blood on her face and the drawing, when he was drawing, when he was drawing that picture that's on the exact wall with the naked girl, the school girl. It's just a fucked up film. It's, it's just weird, man. It's, I don't know, man. It's just fucking weird, just, you know, just message me and describe this film to me, or just show me a blog, or, you know, because you know this film more than me, I don't know shit, I actually never seen this film, but I got it, I know, and then there's no point me talking about all this other Asian shit I got over there, I don't have much, but yeah, but, it's just a fucked up film, there's also a guy who wants to, you know, see all these women, who's horny for women, and also, there's another scene where, uh, I get, I guess the killer has, I guess there's like three killers, I don't know, I guess one of the guys has a black and orange shirt. I don't know, but one's a schoolgirl and the other two just kill women. So a lot of lot of kill, a lot of killing, a lot of slashing, a lot of gore, a lot of nudity, a lot of rape, a lot, a lot of fucking rape, a lot of gore too. There's also one scene where the woman who was raped by the guys on camera, she um, she invites this one guy over and he just starts you know doing her bathtub and fucking her, um, where fucking her uh, in the in the in the bedroom in the room. And then once they're done, he gets a knife. And just fucking slashes, just starts like slashing the shaver, slashes her fucking throat. You know, you, you can see close up, slashes her guts, you see guts all over. You see guts hanging out, fucking falling down. He even stabs right in the fucking mouth and pulls it out. She falls in this pool of blood, and there's her, and there's her intestines showing up. It, 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 there's, a, there's a pool of blood, pool of intestines. It's just a weird fucking film. And the beginning with one of the two guys, uh, I guess one of the friends or whoever, killed. Killed the guy with the white shirt in the beginning of the end of the film, and you see, you also see the you also see the schoolgirl in heaven as an angel and shit. You see her cough blood and get sick. I guess it's from all the sex she's had, and you see the you see one part where a, a dude and the chick are having sex, and she's coughing up blood. And he's just crying and fucking the shadow and holding her. And you see gush of blood all over the place. It's a it's a confusing, weird, messed up, demented, fucked up Asian film I've ever seen. It ranks up. There's a. It ranks there as an Asian film as a fucked up Asian film compared to to the ones I saw. But this one was just fucked up, man. It fucked up my head way more than those, I would say. But yeah, guys, eat the schoolgirl. I'm sorry. This is all over. I'm just talking about it. Um, I don't want to be over the limit. Like eight said, eight said five minutes. So, yeah, eat the schoolgirl. It's a fucked up film. It's confusing. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of Kool Aid kind of red blood. You know, there's a lot of intestines, a lot of, a lot of rape, a lot of nudity great stuff, but it's confusing, so I don't know the official synopsis, I, I mean, I had the subtitles, but I didn't get the other people involved in the film later on, so, hey, if you could send me a message or send me a link to explain this film, you know, entirely, correctly than me, then I would know what the hell, what the fuck this is about, so yeah, so yeah, guys, this was Eat the School Girl, if you know what the hell this film's about, let me know, I kinda know, but it's just weird, so yeah, guys, just, just, uh, comment, tell me what you think of my entry, and, uh, yeah, um, eat the school girl. So, Aid, like I said, once again, send me a message or a blog or something explaining to me what the hell this is about. Alright, guys, good luck, good luck to all of you in the contest. Hope you like this one, Aid. This is your favorite, so uh, let's see who wins. I hope to win some prizes. I know the 15th is almost here, so I just want to get this done. Alright, guys, bye.